Hello everyone, welcome to module 4. In this module, we delve into real-world applications and case studies, demonstrating the practical use of the knowledge we have gained in utilizing ChatGPT for Google Earth Engine. This exercise focuses on drought monitoring, a critical application of geospatial analysis. Drought refers to a prolonged period of abnormally low precipitation leading to water shortages across various scales, from local to regional and global. Understanding the intricacies of drought involves assessing multiple indicators, such as temperature conditions, vegetation health, and precipitation anomalies. In this exercise, with the help of ChatGPT, we will extract meaningful information from these drought indices enabling us to identify drought-prone areas, assess the severity of the condition, and monitor changes over time. So let's begin! Our first task will be calculating drought indices, and then we will calculate drought anomalies. First, let's ask ChatGPT to calculate the Vegetation Condition Index, or VCI. As a climatologist working on the Google Earth Engine JavaScript API, your assignment is to compute an essential drought index for monitoring drought conditions in Indonesia. The specific tasks are outlined below. Calculate the Vegetation Condition Index, or VCI, for Indonesia. Utilize the Terra Vegetation Indices 16-day global 1km dataset for VCI and calculate the formulas NDVI min and NDVI max separately. To clarify, if we don't specifically instruct ChatGPT to calculate the minimum and maximum NDVI values separately, it won't perform these calculations. Instead, it will adopt an alternative method to estimate the VCI, which may not align with our requirements. If you wish to proceed with this specification, you can omit this line from the prompt. Set the time intervals, January 1, 2022 to December 31, 2022. After computing the index, visualize it on the map with 10 distinct color representations. Clip the visualizations using the boundary of Indonesia. Extract the Indonesia shape file from the dataset. Perform any additional analysis or calculation required to derive VCI accurately. In this prompt, we have used a combination of patterns such as list pattern, persona pattern, and additional background information pattern. We have also allowed ChatGPT to perform any additional analysis at the end. Let's see the results. Copy and paste the code into the code editor like this and hit run. Here, we have VCI for Indonesia with a perfect visualization. By looking at the code, we can see that it has calculated the NDVI mean and max values and used them in the standard formula. Now, let's calculate the second drought index, the temperature condition index or TCI. Our prompt will be the same. We will change the index name, dataset, and formula requirement. So our prompt will be, As a climatologist working on the Google Earth Engine JavaScript API, your assignment is to compute an essential drought index for monitoring drought conditions in Indonesia. The specific tasks are outlined below. Calculate the Temperature Condition Index, or TCI, for Indonesia. Utilize the Terra Land Surface Temperature and Emissivity Daily Global 1 km dataset for TCI and calculate the Land Surface Temperature, or LSD Minimum, and LSD Maximum separately for the formula. Set the time intervals. January 1, 2022 to December 31, 2022. After computing the index, visualize it on the map with 10 distinct color representations. Clip the visualizations using the boundary of Indonesia. 
Extract the Indonesia shapefile from the dataset. Perform any additional analysis or calculation required to derive TCI accurately. Let's proceed and observe the results. Copy and paste the code into the same code editor window at the end and click Run to see both indices on the map. Excellent! We have TCI in 10 distinct classes and VCI from our previous prompt. Now, you can also calculate two more indices with the help of ChatGPT, which are PCI, or Precipitation Condition Index, and SMCI, or Soil Moisture Condition Index. The prompts for both indices are given at the bottom of this video. You can use them and change them accordingly. Moving on, let's ask ChatGPT to calculate drought anomalies by calculating the Drought Severity Index or DSI. Our prompt will be, Your next task is to calculate Drought Severity Index or DSI for Indonesia. Utilize the following dataset to calculate DSI. For NDVI, copy and paste the Modis Terra Vegetation Indices 16-day global 1-kilometer dataset ID. For ET and PET, copy and paste the Modis Terra Net Evapotranspiration 8-day global 500-meter dataset ID. Set the time intervals, January 1, 2022, to December 31, 2022. After computing the index, visualize it on the map with 10 color representations. Clip the visualizations using the boundary of Indonesia. Extract the Indonesia shapefile from the dataset. Perform any additional analysis or calculation required to derive DSI accurately. In the new prompt, we gave ChatGPT a new task and the datasets it will use. The rest of the prompt is the same as we have used in the previous ones. Hit enter and wait for ChatGPT's response. Copy and paste the code into the code editor and hit run. It is excellent that we now have our DSI as well. We can also ask ChatGPT to create a legend of DSI by modifying the previous prompt. We will edit the prompt like this. And here, in the visualizations, we will add the following line. Also create a legend ramp to visualize the DSI conditions on the map. Now click on Save and Submit and see the results. Or, we can copy and paste the whole code into ChatGPT and ask it to create a legend for DSI. The prompt to use will be, for the following code, Display a legend for DSI in the map. The darker colors will be minus 2, indicating higher severity of drought, and lighter colors will be plus 1, indicating lower severity of drought. Copy and paste the new code into the code editor. Undo the previous code by pressing Ctrl Z and paste the new code instead, like this, and hit Run. Excellent! This time, we have DSI with legend. By zooming in on the map, we can see the areas with higher drought severity. So, this was our whole case study performed on drought monitoring using ChatGPT. As an exercise, write a ChatGPT prompt to display the time series graph of DSI and print it into the console. If you want to learn more about drought monitoring, check out our previous course on spatiotemporal drought assessment by leveraging Google Earth Engine platform. The link is given below.